What's going on, everybody? It's Chance back with you. Uh, I got it figured out how to put the camera on me while I record. I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, it's in the corner. I can't see it, but you guys can see me. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyways, but if you're driving, don't don't look at any of that. Uh, you know, keep your eyes on the road. I'm gonna give. Uh, the the scripture to you aloud so you don't even have to look at the screen we're going to be looking at john chapter 15 verse 13 uh it's going to be a short message i know you like that um no i'm just kidding but you know ain't that funny on youtube how you can like you you know how long the message is before you watch it you know you see those ones that are like 30 you're like oh you know, you go you go up in the church house. I mean, you don't know how long this guy's been to preach. I mean, you ain't got a clue. But uh, with YouTube, you know exactly how long the video is. So uh, that's just pretty hilarious, I think. But it's gonna be in John chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Uh, and man, I just want this message to empower you today to to see some things. Uh, you know, maybe you've never seen. Maybe you know. But I just want it to really, really touch your heart today. So what I ask, I ask one thing from you. If you'll just, if you'll just for the short period of time, if you'll just put everything off to the side. All right. If you'll just, you know, take the background noise out. Just stop thinking about what all you've got to do today at work. Stop thinking about all the stuff you got to do in again. Stop thinking about the schedules, this and that, and just focus on what God is trying to tell you through me right now and i'll get through it quickly verse number 13 says greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends this is jesus talking to his disciples again and he says greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends at this point he hadn't even uh been to calvary he hadn't even been crucified this is right before all of that takes place and and you know and he's telling them this is how much I love you. This is how much I love you. You don't really know it, but I'm about to lay my life down for you. And he gave his life for us. Nobody took his life. We know that. We know he was following the Father's will and gave his life for us on Calvary. And I just want I just want it to sink in with you. And it's and it's so simple. It's so simple. I'm not some highly educated man that that, that's found the secret to success or anything like that. This is just a simple, 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 simple. I want you to take in today that no man hath the greater love than this that a man, I'm sorry, let me start over. Greater love hath no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends. Jesus gave his life for you. And you may not have ever heard that. And you may hear, you may hear it every day. You may be closer to the Lord than you've ever been in your life. You may have been saved, but you're backslidden. Or you may have never received salvation. I want you to know He gave His life for you because He loves you. Okay? He gave His life for you. I, I, like I, I just keep repeating it because I want it to sink in. Okay? He gave His life for you. Has anybody else ever gave their life for you? Could there be somebody watching the video that has had somebody give their life for them? Possibly. Me? Nobody's ever gave their life for me except Jesus. And so I really can't comprehend how strong of a love that is for me. But it's just... It's just from reading this, it just it, the, the Spirit of God just builds up inside of me, and, and that's why I felt I was led to give it to you guys of His love for me, and I just I just want to praise Him for His love for me that 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 I don't deserve. You don't deserve. You know what have we done to really deserve that type of love? I, I nothing. I mean, not me. I don't. I don't. I personally don't know you, but. Oh man, I don't deserve it. But he loves me. He laid down his life for me and 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 he loves you. And 
and and a continuation of that is what I, is what it, what I feel the Lord wants me to tell you is that He wants a personal relationship with you. Okay, He don't want to just be the guy that gave His life for you. Okay, He says, verse fourteen says, "Ye are my friends." He says, "If ye do whatsoever I command you." Verse 15, henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Six, verse 16 says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Oh gosh, he's, he chose us. We're his friends. We're not just his servant. The Lord wants a personal relationship with you. Are you getting it? Are you are you hearing what I'm saying? He doesn't just want you to be under him, okay? He wants a personal relationship with you. How do relationships work? Relationships work with communication. Relationships work when A talks to B and B talks to A and and there's a connection. He wants that with you. I just want I just want to drill it in your head today that Jesus wants a personal relationship with you. He gave his life for you. He loves you. This may be the first time you've ever heard the gospel message, so I'm going to share that with you as well. Jesus Christ came to the earth as the son of God. Because of of sin, we had separated ourselves from God. We separated ourselves from God. God does not take sin lightly. Um, that that those are whole other messages, which hopefully I'll get into. Uh, he didn't, but he doesn't take sin lightly. There had to be payment for our sin. There had to be payment, and so God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, came to the earth gave his life for us on Calvary. Nobody took his life. He freely gave it to cover our sins by his blood. His blood was the payment. What do you have to do? You have to receive his blood for payment for your sins. You have to repent from your sins, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as being the Son of God, and receive his payment for your sins. And it says, you are saved. You shall be set free. So there's the gospel message. If you've never heard it, if, if you want to email me, uh, I can help you more. We, we, we can talk. I mean, I, I love to help you any way I can, okay? If you have been saved, but you know, you know you don't have that relationship with God like you need to have. You know it. You know if you do or not. You know, maybe, maybe you you got an opportunity right now to build that relationship back up with the Lord. He loves you. He'll forgive you. He wants to forgive you. He's your friend. You know, he's your friend. He gave his life for you. He loves you. He loves you today. I, I, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. I just want I want you to I want you to get that Jesus loves you. Go back and read the verse sometime today. Focus on what it says. No greater love. No greater love than a man give his life for you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. All right, guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope this has helped you. Man, subscribe to the channel if you want some more great content. Like the video if you like it. Don't like it if you didn't like it. But if you like it, like it. You know what I'm saying. So, anyways, and email me. Man, email me. Uh, let's talk. i love to try to help you. Uh, you can be a help to me. Uh, I mean, I ain't got it all figured out, trust me. But I'll help you any way I can, and I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll talk soon, and Jesus loves you.